All right, again, to me, it's very, very simple because it is, um, it's easy to even come up with this with the um, with the surface area formula. Now again, on your note, the first thing I want you to do is lateral area. Does anybody remember what the what I said the lateral area was? No, 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 no. Uh, not exactly the same thing. There's a difference between lateral area and surface area. But normally I tell kids I don't care about the lateral area. I just want the what? The Sides. surface area. Sides. Right. The lateral area is just the area of the sides or the area of the walls. The surface area includes the ceiling and the floor or the two bases. Is everybody hearing me on this now? All right. So, again, lateral area is the area of just the what? Just the walls. All right. Surface area is the walls and the bases. All right. So right now, I want to show you something. Um, so I think it will help you understand the surface area. First of all, what are the two bases in a cylinder? What are the two bases? Two circles. All right. And if I'm dealing with area, what's the formula for area of a circle? Pi r squared. Thank you very much. So I want everybody to write down surface area is equal to. Now, how many circles are there again? Two. two. So everybody's going to write down 2 pi r squared, and that would be the area of the top <clears throat> and the area of the bottom. Is everybody okay with that? All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to show you a picture of a cylinder, and then I'm going to try to show you how you can remember what the formula is if you don't. All right, so everybody needs to take a look at this. Everybody understand this would be kind of like a quick little demonstration that could be a cylinder, right? The two, two circles there, circles in the bottom, correct? That's a cylinder. So the question is, how do you make a cylinder? You make a cylinder with two what? Circles. circles. Now, the hardest thing for people to figure out was, how do you measure the sides? How do you measure the area of the sides? What is it by how, how, why is it length times width? Because it's a rectangle. Yeah, it's a rectangle when you fold it. Look, so what they did is they figured out if you slice it right down here and lay it flat, it just becomes a what? It becomes a rectangle. All right? I need you to see what I'm doing. Come on, Thomas. You're daydreaming. All right? This right here was a cylinder. If I cut the wall and lay it flat, it just becomes a what? It becomes a rectangle. All right? It becomes a rectangle. So now look up here on the board. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. All right? And then you'll have the formula. Then all you have to do is plug numbers into formulas and we'll be done. All right? Now I'm going to erase this little piece right here for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it right here. I'm going to cut it right there. And then I'm going to unroll it. And when I unroll it, it's going to look like exactly like this. Now you don't have to do that. You just have to look. All right? That is that cut right here and then unrolled. And just like you guys told me, it is a what? It's a rectangle. The question is now, some of you are not looking up now, you guys. Come on. Come on, look up here. I'm just trying to make a demonstration, and then I promise you it'll be easy. And I'm going to do three problems. I'm going to say, okay, you guys got to do the rest because you're just plugging numbers into formulas. But right now, I'm trying to show you how if you take a test and you forget what's the surface area formula, and they don't give you the surface area, you can figure out what it is. All right, I want someone to tell me what this is called right here. What is this dimension in that shape? Uh, no. It's 0. 0.6. So what is that called, though? You're height. correct. That's the height. Very good. So this right here is the height. Now I have a problem. What is this called? Now don't tell me it's the length. Why don't you tell me it's the width? If I fold that up, what does that create? It's the area. Nope. It, like the it is the circumference. Listen to what I'm saying now, guys. I'm going to try to show you again real quick. That was very good. Look right up here. Hey, Aiden, what are you doing? I want you looking up. All right? I need your attention up here. It's really simple. Really simple. All right? So, again, look right here, guys. <coughs> this is the circle. Hey, I'm not sure what you're doing. This right here. The distance around is called what? 
is called the circumference. So look, if I slice it and lay it flat, this is still the what? It's still the circumference. So I agree with that. So what is the circumference formula? Pi D. That's right. All right. Or 2 pi R. All right. Now, again, the reason why they chose 2 pi R, well, it doesn't matter if you do, do pi D or 2 pi R, but look right up here. I want this is the circumference. Does everybody agree with that? And now the circumference, we someone said, was the same as pi times the diameter, or it's equal to 2 pi R. Is everybody with me? So now the hard part. What, somebody tell me what the formula is for this area right here. What would the formula be? You are awesome. That is exactly right. Because it's just a rectangle, right? So to find the area of that rectangle, it's just pi d times h. Now, I'm always going to write this, just, this, just because how I write things. It's going to be 2 pi r h, 2 pi r h. Now, the reason why I chose r is because I'm going to use r to find the area of the circle. All right? So, now, Bradley, did that make sense, what I was just talking to you about? The area, this pink area is 2 pi r h. All right? So, now... Can someone put together for me the formula for the surface area of a cylinder? What's the formula for surface area of a cylinder? <coughs> Come on, we got this. So the first part is to say what? That's right there. Say that right there. 2 pi r squared. What does that represent? 2 what? No, not the sides. The top and bottom. That's right, the bases. I know that's what you meant to say. And the base in this case is a what? Um, the circle. Right, so it's 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Now, underneath the 2 pi r h, I want you to tell me what is that the same as? Yeah, what's a round called, though? Uh, what's a round of a circle called? The circumference. So this is the circumference. Get away with me on this. All right, so every time when someone asks you for the surface area of a cylinder, you're going to put 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Now, let's see who's got their calculator ready to go. Surface area, 2 pi, what's the radius? 3.5 squared plus 2 pi, what's the radius? 3.5, what's the height? 0.6. So the surface area is approximately, now everybody type in on your calculator, 2 times pi times 3.5 squared plus 2 times pi times 3.5 times 0.6. Everybody type that in your calculator. Let's go. Come on. Can you use 3.14 if you want to? I don't care. All right. I just like the pi button because it's quicker. Wow. We got an answer so far. Somebody said 90.2. So we would say 90.2 meters squared. Remember? Meters squared because we're dealing with what? Area. Okay, Yosef, remember now, this is how you're getting better. You're actually typing the problems in on your calculator, right? And did you get that? Come on now, no slacking this week. All right, 90.2 square meters. Anybody have any problems with that? Thomas, are you good on that? You typed it in on your calculator? Ian, easy. Girls, easy. All right, so question number two. Surface area equals, what's the formula? I'm listening. 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. 
All right, here we go. Surface area equals 2 pi. What's the radius? Don't say 9. What's the radius? 4.5 plus 2 pi. What's the radius? What's the height? All right, multiply that out and tell me what the answer is. Let's go chop, chop. Come on, Yosef. You got a calculator? Come on, man. How am I supposed to help you? Hold on. Hold on. Come on, Yosef. Just use your iPad. You don't have to use your iPad. Come on, guys. Every day we use our calculator. Ten. Hold on a second. 197.9 millimeters squared. Anybody else get that? What? Wow. 196.1. What did you get? All right, guys. Guys, I want everybody to clear their calculator one time. Let's practice typing it in. Type it straight in. 2 times pi times 4.5 squared plus 2 times pi times 4.5 times 6. We should all get about the same answer. Now, if you chose 3.14, your number's going to be a little bit lower. It's not really a big deal. Did you double check? What did you get? Wow, I got someone with 296.8. What did you get? 296.8. You're good on that? Boys, do you all agree 296.8 now? Come on now, take your time on that. Millimeter squared. Perfect. So let me get rid of this garbage up here. I don't know what people were saying about that. Let's put it back down here. All right, for number three. Somebody again, try to write the formula without looking. Try to write the formula without looking. Formula. Now, I always tell kids, just say it again. Instead of 2 pi r squared, say it again. 2 pi r, but instead of squared, it's h. That's how I remembered it. 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r instead of squared, what? h. 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Surface area equals 2 times pi times, what's the radius? 5 squared plus 2 times pi. What's the radius? What's the height? All right, surface area is approximately, come on, get it right the first time. Thank you. Inches squared. Is Diesel right? Anybody else? Girls, please double check him. Everybody's okay? Now look, guys, am I right? Isn't that just kind of a little easy little formula, right? And I'm telling you, if you write it down each time, you'll be in good shape. So guess what? The last page. You can delete the last page. We'll do that later. Yeah, all you have to do is do the first two pages, guys. And why am I making you write the formula every time? Yeah, we got ERBs coming up, guys. Do you hear me? We got ERBs coming up. And I want you to do better this year. Especially, like I said, those of you guys who want to go to private school, your ERB score has got to go up. Right? If that's what you want to do. All right? So you need to write. Don't be lazy. All right, write the formula, plug the numbers in the formulas, and then we're good. Anybody have any questions or concerns? Everybody agree it's kind of easy, right? All right, chop, chop. Thomas, are you good? You can do it. No, it's 2 pi r squared plus pi dh. But you see what I mean? I don't do that because it's easy for me to remember. 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Because it's kind of the same. You know what I mean? Wait, is it 2 pi r squared h? Or 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. 
You with me? Three dimensions whenever you're finding, or two dimensions whenever you're finding area. Three dimensions when you're finding volume. All right, anybody have any questions? Yosef, you good? You working? Thomas, you working? Carter, you on track over there? All right, guys. Get to work. That's all. Very simple.